All right, our time is a little bit tight today, so uh, we'll go ahead and get started as people continue to trickle in. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, for your support for us opening the latest chapter for Bunker Labs, a national nonprofit um, that is uh, committed to helping uh, veterans and military spouses start successful businesses. The key word is successful. Um, uh, programming note, I want to congratulate you on all being here because 2020 is over halfway done. Uh, a bizarre year, but we're on the backside of this thing. So just keep going uh, and we'll be in 2021 as soon as we can. Um, again, please rename yourselves for the uh, networking later. Uh, I want to point out that we have military spouses, we have veterans, we have entrepreneurs, we have veteran business owners, investor money here today with us, uh, veteran support agencies, uh, friends and family, combat vets, and we also have elected representation joining us today. So if you don't meet somebody in this Zoom call that can uh, either further your own personal goals or help you with your mission, I'm working on it. We'll, we'll continue to march and, and see if we can do even better next time. Also, please hold all questions during the presentation uh, for the chat. Uh, and you can just put them right down in the chat. And we have Bunker Labs people standing by um, to assist. Uh, I'd like to take a moment and introduce Adam, my uh, co-city leader for the Des Moines chapter. Hi, everyone. I'm Adam Haas. Great to see a bunch of familiar faces here. I look forward to connecting with you later during the call. Um, if you haven't met me, um, once again, my name is Adam. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps and Army Reserves. And uh, I live in Johnston, so definitely look forward to seeing a lot of you throughout the community. Excellent. Okay, so um, first of all, again, welcome. Bunker Labs is um, a national nonprofit with uh, over 35 chapters across the United States. Um, we're continuing to expand, but we think uh, that if there's a veteran out there, especially in this virtual environment uh, or uh, someone in the military connected community, we can get them to the right people um, so that they can uh, receive the education uh, or help that they need. Uh, next slide, please. So yeah, as I mentioned, um, over 35 cities, um, we are focused on the connection piece. Um, the military community, the military does a wonderful job of stripping out the individual when you join the service. Um, what they don't do a wonderful job of is putting um, the individual kind of back when you leave. And so uh, many veterans, especially myself, we tend to drift when we leave the service and, and we, we're looking for something to belong to. Um, for me, that's Bunker Labs. Uh, and we hope that we can do that with uh, more people out there as well. And it's important because um, the community needs to feel like they're earning their pay, like they're doing something that is purposeful. Um, and that can be through the avenue of um, business ownership and entrepreneurship, or it could even be assisting somebody else. Um, there is no one set path in Bunker Labs. We, we do that uh, across many different bits of programming, which we'll get into. Um, but also we provide uh, inspiration to our community members. People like Jennifer Ordson, who's on this call, giving you a shout out, Jennifer. Um, a military spouse who's built a really successful business and is doing good things for the medical community here in the Des Moines area. Um, and then our Launch Lab Online, uh, we do online programming to equip um, these, all of these people with the tools they need to succeed. Next slide, please. So when we talk about our impact model, um, we really, what we're trying to talk about is how we inspire, equip, and connect veterans and their spouses and their journey to entrepreneurship or business ownership. Uh, a lot of it starts with at that um, idea validation area, um, which we interact through called Launch Lab Online. So being in Iowa, a lot of um, startups or new businesses go through venture school through the University of Iowa, and it's, it's very similar in format to that. Um, however, it's an online platform where you can work through the, the idea you have behind a business and work through validating it through um, following the business model canvas and customer discovery interviews and things like that. Um, there's also a community vert, um, concept to that as well, where you're able to interact with other people who are doing the same spot. So even though you're on your own individual journey, there are many other veterans or veteran spouses that are on that same journey too that you can collaborate with and build community. Um, another one of the things that we do is um, Bunker Brews. 
Um, if you think about it, it's kind of, um, we have networking, relevant programming, and then networking at the end too. So um, we have different types of ways that we do that. We can do bunker brews with coffee in the morning, or um, we have a sub-zero version that we can do in the evening, partnering with some local breweries. Um, it's just a great time to get everyone together in the community and then also um, learn something, whether it's about finance or taxes or HR related issues, try and bring some relevant programming to the business community. And those aren't just veteran exclusive events. We love to have the community come out and engage with us and also you know, learn and make some more connections. Um, there's other programs too, as far as veterans and residents and uh, CEO circle kind of a, between group therapy and um, co-working within um, when you talk about our impact, obviously the numbers speak for themselves. Um, but when you look at like the Des Moines Metro just as its own, um, you know, there's only over 20,000 veterans in the Des Moines Metro area. So as you see these numbers here, you know, we can only hope that we see those numbers grow. And as those numbers grow, there are Des Moines businesses that are in those numbers. Uh, next slide. So now we'll go into a little bit deeper into each of these programs, uh, just so you have an idea of um, kind of what we're offering. Uh, the first we'll talk about is Launch Lab Online. This is the education piece. Um, we use the business model canvas, which is very standard in the entrepreneurial space. Um, we do that all online through videos and a website um, called Bunker Online, and it acts as a community as well. So there is the education piece and the um, business model canvas and also a, a personal assessment that we do, which I think is very important. Um, are you cut out to do this? Are you ready to commit? Um, but then the community discussion. So it really is you're not going through it alone. You have a whole community of people you can bounce ideas off of. You can ask questions um, and get that support that uh, many veterans are, are missing from their time in the service. Um, and the great thing about Launch Lab Online, although we are focused on veterans and military spouses, anybody can sign up for Launch Lab Online. We want to grow the community. Um, we are a veteran support organization and an entrepreneurial support organization. We realize that those work way better when they're tapped into a larger group and a larger ecosystem. Right. So as I kind of over kind of highlighted about Bunker Brews, um, you know, we have some pretty awesome numbers about how many events we've been able to put on, um, how many attendees we've had. Um, as you can see from the slides, you know, over 35,000 people since 2015. That's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, we like to see that, you know, the people that come actually learn something. So it's not just um, get together, have some drinks and leave. Um, you know, it's definitely intentional about how we do things and, you know, the programming and the event itself. Um, you like to have, you know, expert speakers or even panels from local community members or local business owners. So there's a lot that we can do. It's a very casual environment. Um, you know, in a post-COVID world, we're not sure exactly um, what, what those are going to be or how it's going to entail. You know, obviously, we'd um, love to be able to work and have events locally, but also be flexible like we are right now having some of these digital events. Um, with the Bunker Brews, you know, we're always looking for um, other partners that we um, – are interested in either hosting or um, taking part in the events too to help either highlight what you can do to help out the community of entrepreneurs themselves. Um, next slide. Then we also have an event uh, that we do quarterly called Bunker Connect. Um, it's a larger event um, and this is a chance for us to do much more purposeful uh, networking than you would see in uh, the Bunker Brews. We actually have some tasks that our attendees have to do. And um, we facilitate the conversations, the follow-on conversations by providing some Starbucks gift cards so people can uh, actually meet and, and continue those conversations started uh, during our event. Because again, that's, that's a really um, valuable uh, portion of the veteran path uh, or the entrepreneurial path is knowing the right people and having someone take the time to discuss uh, whatever issue you may have. The first one for Des Moines should be sometime in the new year. Um, please stay tuned, we'll figure it out. Next slide, please. So one of the other resources that Bunker has is what we call the Veterans in Residence Program. Um, it, if you think about some of the typical incubators that you see in the area, whether it's the 
um, insure tech accelerator and things like that. Um, the way Bunker Labs works, we have a partnership with a WeWork or a um, different type of co-working environment where you can build business connections um, and help. we help those military veteran or military veteran family entrepreneurs launch and scale their business. Um, we see some great, great success out of those programs. You know, almost 90% of those participants are re reporting that their companies have accelerated growth and have been able to raise funds as well. Um, this program is open for those veterans and veteran spouses after they've completed Launch Labs Online, and there's no real um, crazy hoops that someone needs to go through. But um, for Des Moines right now, we're looking at probably a launch um, after January of 2021. Um, still looking at what, you know, what it looks like as far as the space and things like that in Des Moines. And uh, kind of our top level programming that we have is something called CEO Circle. That's for businesses that have those more complex issues, um, H really serious HR problems. Um, uh, they've reached growth or their past growth stage. Um, you do have to uh, apply for this piece of programming as well. Um, we certainly want to build out our community in Des Moines. So we have uh, the right uh, really mentor circles to provide for this, but we facilitate this discussion. We provide the um, experts that come in um, and it's, it's just a higher level uh, of the business discussion. Um, therapy, group therapy for CEOs, if you will. And as a reminder, um, everything that we, we're doing and plan on continuing to do um, is made, made possible by the generosity of these partners that we have here. You know, um, we really appreciate them being kind of the lifeblood that helps us support and continue our mission. Um, with that said, we're always for uh, more partners or more funding streams within, especially within the area that we're operating as. So if you are um, interested or that's something sounds like something that you might be um, driving for your business, feel free to reach out to us. Next. And please do follow us on social media. Um, I don't, Adam has his method of doing it. My personal method when I'm trying to kick out information is to push it through the social media. Uh, those of you that have previously followed the Bunker Labs uh, Twitter and uh, LinkedIn accounts, we've pulled all those back up to the national level. Um, please do follow these accounts because they will be talking about Des Moines issues as well, as well as national issues. Um, and honestly, in the age of, of COVID, um, your business isn't local anymore. Your business is national because we've all gone online. So uh, please do um, follow these as well. And of course, uh, you can reach out to Adam or I on um, our uh, information, which um, is on the website. So I want to say thank you to everyone and um, introduce you to uh, our CEO who's attending today, Blake. I really appreciate you being here with us. Bernie, thank you. Um, it's so great to see all of you. So I am a, a Minnesotan, so I will put aside my Iowa rivalry for today. Um, I chose not to wear my ferocious Golden Gopher uh, shirt. Uh, instead, I I'm, uh, got you know, the, our bunker here. Uh, you know, this is our very first virtual launch. Uh, so the world's changed a few times um, in the last six months. Uh, and the world needs more entrepreneurs. The world needs more innovators. The world needs people that will support those entrepreneurs. And that's all of you on this, this call today. Um, like we started Bunker with a really simple mission six years ago. It was we wanted to help connect people that would help people grow in their personal and professional lives. We realized that entrepreneurship is a difficult path. We understand that um, leaving the military, our networks are insular and they're spread to the four corners of the earth. Um, but there are a group of people that want to see you be successful, and that's all of you here today. Um, so as we uh, kick off uh, this chapter officially, it's been a part of the, the fabric there for, 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 for months. Like we all, I think, are um, you know, committing to doing two things today. We're committing to supporting entrepreneurs, and we're committing to supporting uh, city leaders, Bernie and, and Adam, and those of you that want to support entrepreneurs. So, you know, I'll, um, you know, the, the charge that I have for, for all of us is to figure out um, how can, can, you know, today you'll go into 
breakout groups. The tech's going to work perfect. It's going to be flawless. Um, and, uh, you know, and the questions that you, you should be asking is, you know, what, what dot can I connect for you? How, how can I help you? Like, we're not here, you know, especially we're not in, in person. It's, you know, it's awkward. We're missing that human connection. We want to be there. Um, you know, it, it, I, I want to give permission for people to, to be human and to move the needle for each other. That's why we're here. We're not here to talk about, is there going to be a football season or, you know, like what's what, like, are we going to be able to do an in-person event? Like the answer is, I don't know. But what we do know is that there are entrepreneurs that are trying to grow things right now that are looking for customers that are trying to hire people that are, you know, trying to raise capital that are figuring out how do I hire my first person or how do I fire my first person? Um, all of those questions that, that apply, um, you know, we at, at Bunker, uh, we'll, we'll never be regarded or revered as, as the experts. What we want to do is engineer an environment where really smart people can come and be humble and ask tough questions and, and be vulnerable to say, I need help. Um, so, so the whole reason we're, we're here today is, is to do that, to lean into that, um, and to know that there's a group of people that are out there. Um, you know, we will not get through the challenges that exist in our country without people coming and uh, up to the plate to, to start companies and to grow companies. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to, to Dan and to Bernie and to Adam. Um, mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and want to thank all of you for, for coming. Um, so I lied. I said, there was two, there are two asks or one ask. There's two. One is, is ask each other how you can help. Um, and, uh, and then to, uh, bring people to, to the next Des Moines event or bring people to, to Bunker Online. This, this will only uh, be as impactful as it's uh, you know, connected to the local community. Um, it, it will always be about local impact. It will always be about local engagement. Uh, and we'll get better at that as we figure out how to do that in this world. Um, but thank you to, to the team uh, and I'll turn it back over to, uh, to Bernie and Dan and crew. Um, Thank you, Blake. And just a caveat that uh, we do have a map on the website which shows all of our locations. For those of you uh, getting in from the east and west coast, please jump on there, reach out to your local chapter, reach out to me or Adam. We'll get you connected with the right people. Um, So if you don't want to always plug into Des Moines, you can plug into Chattanooga or Vegas or wherever would be most convenient for you. Um, Next, I would like to introduce Mike Colwell from the partnership. Or Minneapolis, like if you wanted to go to one of the chapters in Minnesota, you could go to the Minneapolis group. So so Bernie, I just want to, let me jump in quick. So as a native island, I'm really excited to see see the chapter in Des Moines opening you and I met a long time ago, and it's really great to see it come to fruition. I appreciate all your hard work making this happen. And of course, most importantly, go clones. (laughs) <laughs> God, this, this Zoom is deteriorating quick. Let me move on um, as a twice uh, Iowa Hawkeye graduate. Um, I want to introduce Mike Colwell, our featured speaker today. Uh, many of you in the Des Moines community know Mike. Uh, he is a gentleman uh, with the Plains Angels, a uh, very large um, investing group locally, and also uh, an extremely important role in entrepreneurship in the Greater Des Moines Partnership. Mike? Well, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Um, I want to take just a minute, <clears throat> give you my background, tell you who I am, and talk mostly about what we do here in Des Moines. Uh, native Iowan, uh, grew up here, went to school at Iowa. No, no slant against Iowa State there. I went to school at Iowa. Uh, I got in the mobile computing business in 1984, back when nobody knew what a mobile computer was, and it was just sheer luck. So 22 years later, I left that industry, had a wonderful run, went through a company that went public, went private, went public, went broke once, um, went public again. And it ultimately succeeded. Uh, ended up back in Des Moines uh, in 2006. Went to work for the Greater Des Moines Partnership, which is a regional chamber of commerce economic development group. And I run their entrepreneurial initiatives. So what I do is work with entrepreneurs anywhere from I have an idea and I'm not sure what to do next to I need to raise $5 million in a series A round. How do I do that? Uh, so along the way, there's a lot of different pieces and parts, and I won't get into all of them now, but please understand that my main job is a, as a mentor. 
and there is no expense to what we, we do. So we don't want your money. We don't want part of your company. We just want to help you succeed in the central Iowa area. And we represent more than just Des Moines. We represent all of central Iowa. I'm really excited about what's happening with Bunker Labs here in Des Moines and nationally. The challenge for those of us who are not a veteran, and I am not a veteran, is we don't know how to communicate and talk with veterans. Um, and so I've been learning along the way with working on some veteran initiatives uh, and trying to close a few gaps. Uh, what I would say is beyond the basics of, you know, how to do a financial model and how to raise capital, that there are really three things that matter in the world of succeeding in a startup. If you look just outside the product or outside of the financials, and it really gets down to mentoring, being open to having mentors and having multiple mentors, having resources available to you and having networks. And I want to talk a little bit about networks real quick. You need like-minded like networks. Adam, I think, mentioned the, the Global Insurance Accelerator. When I got to Des Moines, a couple of years after I got here, we tried to start, a couple of guys tried to start something called um, Startup City Des Moines. And it was a generic incubator. A little bit of anything for anybody, a little bit of everything for everyone. And honestly, it didn't work out so well. It's because we didn't have a focus area. And our next move was to open the Global Insurance Accelerator, which has been very successful. And we focused in an area. We focused on insurance. Now, that relates also to groups of people. You have to have a like-minded background sometimes to be a powerful network. And so my, my goal and my hope with all this is, as I get involved in Bunker Labs, is to help you who are veterans understand what resources are out there in the broader community, what capabilities are out there. And then also help you with mentoring. Uh, for those you haven't mentored before, um, take off your Iowa nice, <laughs> be direct, uh, challenging questions. Uh, the, the number one solution to mentoring is to ask questions. And as a mentee, show up prepared. Uh, don't show up without a pencil and a paper. Don't show up and say, so what do you wanna talk about today? Come with asks, very direct asks, be honest, be open. Uh, and here's the last thing I'll tell you about mentoring. We oftentimes will put an entrepreneur like one of you in front of five angel investors for a practice pitch for the first time you're actually going to present for money. You know, you're raising a half million dollars. You're going to talk to professional angels and we'll have you present and then we'll have the angels talk to you. And it's really common for the angels to disagree with each other. Two will say, yeah, go faster. One will say, go slower. Two will say, no, you're doing right right now. In mentoring, you're going to get a lot of feedback and it's up to you to decide which feedback really matters for you because it's your company. It's you and your partner's company. It, every mentor has an opinion and we can be a little opinionated. So don't do something just because a mentor tells you to do it. Do something because you're hearing from mentors, it's a good idea and you're validating it in your own heart to say it's a good idea. Finally, on capital, just to tie off on this, there is an active capital environment in Des Moines. It's uh, an area you need to understand why does somebody get equity capital versus someone else getting a loan? Uh, it's, it's different kinds of capital. And what it gets down to is what your long-term plan is. If you're trying to grow and scale the next Instagram, you're going to have to have a lot of money. We're talking eight and nine digit money. That kind of money is called equity capital. And it comes with the caveat that the investors want their money back. And the way they get their money back is by selling the company or by taking it public. If you're not building a large scale company that's sellable or going public, you're probably looking more at grants and loans and traditional uh, banking, if you will, and, uh, and sometimes family money, if there is family money available. Understanding those differences is something I can help you with. It, I am an angel investor. My wife and I have made about 35 angel investments. I co-manage an angel group here in Des Moines called Plains Angels. I also belong to a network of angel groups in the Midwest where we share deal flow. So my offer to all of you is reach out. You can find me probably the fastest through Bernie because he's put his email up there a whole bunch of times. You can go to dsmpartnership.com and search my name, uh, and I'll be involved in the rest of today's meeting. So with that, I will turn it back over to Bernie. Thanks, Mike. Um, and for those of you in the Des Moines area, I cannot emphasize enough the partnership puts on a funding um, sort of class. Uh, next one's in the fall, September, I believe. Uh, if that's gonna be in person, I would wear a mask and go to it. Uh, really valuable discussion of all of the different ways that you can get the capital you need to, you know, 
make your dreams a reality. Um, and there is no angle to it. So if you come talk to private equity, I'm going to say, well, you know, let's talk about this. If you go to a bank, they're going to talk about the loan. At this discussion at the partnership, they talk about all of the things. They're each by themselves. None is better than the other. Great first step to thinking about capital. Um, and Mike, will that be in person or online? Do you know? Very likely uh, going to be online or both. I think going forward, we'll always have the online option. Then if you're in Tampa, you should be attending this as well. It really is a great discussion. Um, next, we're going to move to breakout rooms. Uh, there'll be approximately six people per room. Uh, we have tried to set it up um, uh, with some Bunker Labs people in every room. Uh, if you do have some questions that, that arise and you don't, they're not answered as part of your discussion, please reach out to Adam or I or throw them in the chat later and uh, click on that button to send you to your room. Thanks. Have a great discussion. Hope everybody had a chance to meet somebody new. Continue on the journey. Looks like we got four pages of attendees now. Awesome. Um, next, uh, I would like to welcome Michelle Reeves and Tiffany Menke from the Urbandale Chamber. And we're going to do a ribbon cutting, which is something fun for me because I've been attending ribbon cuttings for the Urbandale Chamber now for a few years. Now I get to do one. <laughs> Tiffany? Perfect. Actually, I think we were going to have Michelle start um, because Michelle actually has your physical plaque. But Bernie, since you've got me right now, I just want to say congratulations. I am so proud of you. I'm proud of what this organization is doing. And um, we're just very excited to celebrate you and the organization. So thank you. And then I'll turn it over to Michelle. Wherever Michelle is. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bernie, let me raise this up so you can see it. There you go. I like your thumbs up. Uh, I'm Michelle Rees with the Urbandale Chamber. I'm the chair this year for the Board of Directors. And as that, I would like to say congratulations, Bernie and, and Adam and, the, and Dan and all the rest that are bringing this to Des Moines. We're excited to have you. We're excited to be here and we wish you great success in your endeavor. And you know we're here to support you any way that we can. Uh, just reach out to any one of us. And Bernie, you know how this works. You reach out to those connectors and they hook you up. Um, but anything that we can do, just reach out. Um, I'm always willing to hear more about this and to learn more about it. It sounds like a great endeavor. And it's right up your alley, Bernie. Just wonderful for you to do and to take on. And um, we just respect you and we appreciate you so much. And being part of the chamber has just been excited to get to know you. And this is perfect for you. So with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to you, Bernie. Thank you, Michelle. I look forward to uh, that plaque. Now we just need a, an office to hang it in. <laughs> um, Adam and I, we can share it back and forth like on a weekly basis. Um, thank you. Uh, very proud to be a member of the uh, only five-star uh, chamber in the Metro. Um, next, I'd like to turn it over to Catherine uh, Harrington, who I believe just joined us. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Bernie. Perfect. What? <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yep, yep. I'm, uh, I'm triple booked kind of today. This is the life of a chamber, uh, chamber member, right? Doing a lot of many things. Thank you so much, Bernie. This is such an incredible, incredible opportunity. And once the COVID slows down, we're going to have an in-person ribbon cutting for you. This is amazing. We love the entrepreneurial ecosystem. I just wanted to say a little bit about how I'm so impressed with Bernie and Bunker Labs. You know, Bernie is the number one connector and mentor through Bunker Labs for veterans and military spouses with resources to help them get on a path to a successful business. Can you imagine what this is going to do for our region? When we have these veterans are going to start their own businesses and Bernie and Bunker Labs is going to help them succeed. I love this. It's amazing. Uh, Bernie and Bunker Labs is going to help generate income, create wealth, and that's going to help make all of our regions strong, right? All of Greater Des Moines. We're just going to be stronger because of you. And we couldn't be more proud to be part of the organization and have you as a proud West Des Moines Chamber member. You know, Bernie loves to help people achieve goals. He's so perfect for this role. His background as an international expert in developing, managing programs, his foreign affairs background is so intense. National security, extensive overseas experience, 
He's so comfortable with multicultural environments and we are a multicultural city, West Des Moines. There are 60 languages spoken in West Des Moines. So that alone means that you're gonna be able to work with so many of our diverse populations here. You know, your work serving five U.S. embassies and the Pentagon is so impressive. You know, and I don't know if you've mentioned this because I did just come on board, but Bernie was awarded the Medal of Merit from the Republic of Lithuania. So very impressive and we can't be happier about your new company and launch. So, so excited. Thank you, Catherine. Um, that medal and a quarter will get me a cup of coffee uh, here in town. So uh, <laughs> love to tell you about it someday. Um, now we're going to move to uh, the Bunker Online pitch, which is um, in this time of COVID, uh, these meetings, and I really, again, thank you all for coming. Um, there's more that you can do uh, in between the Zooms that you're doing all day long. And you can get on uh, Bunker Online and sign up for an account. You do not have to be a military veteran or a military spouse to do that. You just have to be in the entrepreneurial space or wanting to support um, one of those uh, constituencies. So we really encourage you to start a Bunker Online account, get into the discussions, uh, use it as a place to, to prospect, if you will, for um, I'm looking at one of our veterans on the screen here who uh, has in the healthcare industry. Um, and what a great place uh, for him and his uh, business partner to find folks that need exactly what they provide. Because as veteran businesses expand, they're gonna need uh, to provide healthcare at some point. That's the goal, right? So get on Bunker Online, uh, start an account, uh, take the classes there, participate in the discussion and, and build out the network. Um, next, um, Adam, do you have anything you wanna say? Yeah, um, don't forget to connect with us locally as a chapter. Um, if you go to chapters.bunkerlabs.org, you can find the Des Moines chapter and sign up to stay in touch with us. So uh, while we put out newsletters or um, event invites, that's where we're gonna be able to post everything that we're hosting. So um, as we do Bunker Brews or any other types of community um, um, types of engagement activities, uh, you can find them there. Um, also check out the social channels. It's uh, national channels, but anything Des Moines is gonna be posted there too. And feel free to connect with Bernie or I through email or we're on LinkedIn and all that fun stuff too. So feel, if you got a question, reach out, um, we're here. And Adam and I are co-city leaders. Um, it's, this is our group and we are also looking for a third city leader. Um, there's usually a three of us in each city uh, to cover the various aspects of what we do. So if you're interested, uh, please reach out to Adam or I and um, we'll pass you on to the headquarters. Um, I want to, again, thank you all for being interested in uh, raising the veteran outcomes. Um, uh, my own personal story is that it makes me uncomfortable when people say thank you for your service. Uh, I'm much more interested in folks who will take the time to sit down with a veteran and either listen to them on a, on a more purposeful level. Sometimes veterans just want to speak about their experiences um, or take the time to assist them with something. Um, the thank you is important, and, and I appreciate that uh, when it comes from the heart, but also just one little step further of actually giving a little bit of your time to a veteran uh, can mean the difference between, well, it can mean the difference in their lives, honestly, um, and that is doubly important for the entrepreneurial space. Um, the uh, Entrefest, which just happened uh, in Cedar Rapids, uh, if you was talking about um, if you really want to help somebody just sit them down with them and give them a little bit of your time can't agree with that more so I appreciate you giving us a bit of your time today encourage you to do that in the future um, however which networks that you reach out to um, and uh, the ask that I have for you is that you contact two people um, and whether that's a military veteran or a military spouse or just someone in the business community just let them know that we exist. Um, my goal for this first year in operation is to, that everybody in the state knows that we're here. Now, that doesn't mean that we want them to quit their jobs uh, at Brown Winnick. Um, we just want them to know that we're a resource uh, and they can use us if they like to. So uh, thank you again for your time. Thank you for your attendance. Um, we will keep this open for a few more minutes and um, Bunker Labs here in Des Moines. Thank you everyone for coming out. I love it. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Bernie. Thanks to all of you.
folks in Des Moines and around the world that came to, to support this first virtual launch. Great job, okay. Bernie. As I look through the screen, um, we've got people literally across the country who joined us, so I really appreciate it. Especially uh, other city leaders that have, have stopped in to support. Uh, there's some free beer coming to you guys. <laughs> Hi, Monica. We saw you. <laughs> also, Bernie. And as we have some time, um, Todd, Todd Connor, our founder, uh, jumped on as well. So thank you for creating this organization. Oh, Bernie, no, thanks to you and Adam. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited to see this come to life in, uh, in Des Moines. And it's all, it's all your leadership that's making it happen. So just thank you. And uh, I'm looking forward to being in person like we used to be. Me too, yeah. Yes. Well, let's not rush it. In, in no, due time. No, in due time. In due time. This is awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Bernie. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the meeting, Bernie. Great job, Adam. Bernie, tremendous tremendous job. Like incredible turnout. Uh, this is really just the start of what's to come in Des Moines. So really, really awesome job. Appreciate right, the everyone. support. And actually, I've got to get to my mentorship. Uh, I'm a mentee in this uh, next call, so I got to go see my mentor. That's beautiful. Never ends. Awesome. Never ends, but it's good. It's it's awesome. All right, everyone. We'll see ya. See you. Thanks, all. Charlie Mike.